We're all language uh, students and some are teachers of the Māori language in New Zealand. So we're here to share with the Lakota people our experiences. It's been an emotional morning for us because we've just been up to the Urupa, the cemetery at um, Wounded Knee. It was a very emotional morning going there because it resonated with a lot of the similar experiences of our own people. To be here on Pine Ridge, we are honoured actually to have the opportunity to just um, to pay our respects from our ancestors to your ancestors. It's a big thing in our Māori worldview that as you enter into someone else's territory, as you enter into someone else's world, um, you advance with caution, you make the appropriate acknowledgements to pave the way, to clear the way, to make things um, safe for us as we continue to advance. We were breaking down any barriers that might exist, clearing the way any negative energy. Accompanying the, the karaki or incantations, we had a, a toa, or warrior. Uh, he was using um, some of the movements of our weaponry style. The primary aim of it was to, again, spiritually cleanse the area and to pave the way and to allow us to continue to advance. Um, and once the part to the incantations was completed um, and the, the warrior had done his, his part, uh, we moved to the karanga, or the, the call of the women. It's a very high-pitched call. We believe it's a, a way that moves us from the physical world into the spiritual world, and it joins all of the spirits to us in the physical realm. It's also customary to allow our tears to flow freely. We're meant to be able to show that grief. We are descendants of those who, who were killed in battles at, on our homelands, which is quite relevant to the ceremony here at Wounded Knee. Yeah.